we here. We here. Ready? See what I'm saying? I can't call when you're going to shoot the ball at all. Now, if you get drove on like that, when you catch the ball here the next time, see how you change? See what you're looking for? Shot. You get what I'm saying? You ever heard the saying, hands down, man down? So when you pick up your defensive position, one hand should be up at all times and out in front of you. The other hand hitting up on the ball. Got it? As you slide. So from this position here, you want it right here. That means it's blocking what? My field of view. If I bring the ball across, absolutely. That means I gotta bring it through here. There you go. But you gotta keep that hand. Okay? So if I bring it here, absolutely. If I bring it back, absolutely. Now when I move, see how you're able to switch? You see this, right? Are you catching it? When I bring it back, good. When I bring it back, absolutely. This is gonna make you a better lockdown defender. And as you become a better ball handler, you're gonna be able to judge your footwork better from somebody who's not as good of a ball handler and you'll be able to play what's called defensive angles. So you got your hands up. And I'm here, and I'm doing this, working, working, working. Now dribbling. Good, see how I'm still here? If I take this step here, what can you do? Step right back over. At the, you see, you saw the angle, right? How you cut it? That's how you cut it. So when I step back over again, see the angle? Get the hands up. That's how you stop defenders. That's how you become a lockdown defender. I just gave you one of the biggest secrets in the game. Right okay? Because every time you readjust, you readjust at a 45, which means you already got it open to the side you know where you got help at. And you want this guy to go this way. You want him to go that way. Because what do you have right here? A trap. He thinks he's beating you, and he's going right into a trap. The only angle that you never want to give up is this. If you're giving this angle here, you do not want to let me get on this side of your feet. Because if I get here, my next step is right here. And I have effectively moved you completely out the way. You cannot play defense on me from that position. Okay? So if you see the ball in this hand, you should overplay. No, get up here. If I see the ball in that hand, I'm doing this. See this? And I'm hit. Uh, uh. I'm, I'm doing this. Just like this. When you go that way, go that way. Now I'm back. See the hand right there? Back square. Switch again. Give me another angle. Good. Overplay. Overplay. I'm trying to hit down. I'm hitting up. Hitting up. Hitting up. Give me another angle. Give me another angle. Another angle. Good. Absolutely. See how I'm cutting it? Let's get the next two. This is what's going to keep you at what's called a defensive advantage over an offense. And as long as you can keep a defensive, defensive advantage, you can hold the space from the top of the key to the front of the rim. So if you control the space, that means he can't just walk down the lane and do anything he want to do. He's got to beat you. You get what I'm saying? He has got to beat you. I got 